This video is going to show you how to log on to the lab portion of your composition class. Your instructor may or may not have placed a link to this program in D2L. Let's assume that the instructor did not. Go ahead and type in www.broward.mylabsplus.com You'll know you're in the right place when you see the Broward College logo. Where it says name, put in your student ID. And the password is the word Broward. Everyone's password is the same. Your next screen you should see your name and then the class that you're enrolled in. Click on that class. At the next screen you will see a privacy agreement. This just states that the publisher, Pearson, will not share any of your personal information with anyone else. Click I accept. The next screen will be your home page. Notice you'll see a total of seven modules. Each module covers a different subject. You're, you will be responsible for covering the first five of these modules. The last two may or may not be assigned by your instructor. Let's see how we can start working on a module. If you click on one, you'll notice that most of the page fades out. And the only thing you can do is take what's called the skills check. This is actually a pretest about these topic areas. The better you do on this skills check, the less work here you will be assigned. Let me say that again. The better you do on the skills check, the less work you'll be assigned to do in this topics list. Let's see what it looks like once the skills check has been completed. Here's a student who has completed one of the modules. Notice when we click on it, we'll notice there are three topics one of them has a star. The star means that when you took the skills check or the pretest, you mastered that. So you don't have to work on that. You can if you'd like, but it's not required. However, these two areas, pronouns and pronoun agreement, are areas that will need to be completed. If you click on it, notice here in the activity section, you have a list of activities. The first two are a review of the topic. This, the next two are quizzes on the topic. And the final one is a post-test just on this one topic. You'll also notice that you cannot do one without doing the activity above it. So these must be taken in order. In addition, you'll notice that you have four attempts on the exercises and the post-test to achieve at least a 70 percent. Remember while doing these exercises and even the post-test use your resources, notes, books, even the internet. It's a great way to learn. When you've completed all of that you'll notice there'll be a star next to pronouns. So your job is pretty easy get all stars in each module. You will eventually see a star on these five modules. When that is completed, you will then be eligible for the Mastery Skills Check, which is, in fact, the lab final exam. We will talk about using or accessing the final exam and other procedures and features of this program in the next video. 
If you have any questions to this point, please contact the Writing Lab coordinator at your campus. Good luck.